All right, uh, I know this is a Transformers convention, but I actually had a uh, voice acting question for you. Sure. So aside from the range when reading the uh, lines they give you, is there any other tips that kind of help you get through auditions and are maybe more likely to for you to get the part? Take an acting class. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah, it, yeah, you know, it's all about acting. It's not about the voice. It's not about, you know, hey, I've got a funny voice here or a cool voice here. Um, or where the plate, of course, you got to know how to place your voice, how to save your, your throat and all that sort of stuff. But ultimately, voice acting is, is just like acting on stage, uh, different techniques, uh, or acting in front of the camera. You have to be, have to have an attitude for the character. The character has to want something. There has to be something else going on to make a well-rounded character instead of just a voice. And for me, uh, having some acting classes uh, really helps. If you've already done that, then you're a step ahead. Yeah, that definitely. That It offers you that, that experience and, and ways to find different things. I'd say the also an important thing I found is whatever you're going to choose to do, however you're going to do it, Commit to it. You know, there's a, there's, there, you can hear it. You can, yeah. you can hear when somebody is settled into what they're doing. Maybe it's even wrong, you know, especially if it's simply voice you're talking about. You know, it does have to do with your voice quality to a degree. I mean, if they're looking for some high pitched guy, you know, and you've got this guy in there, you know, you know, that's not going to be your choice. But, as, as Paul was talking about the acting and all that, that really helps in the acting as well, committing to what you're going to do. Even if it would be wrong, even if you'd be a little too intense, let's say, for what they had in mind, if they believe it, if you're good, you're good. And they like the quality of your voice, they're going to say, let's listen to this guy again. We'll give him a little direction or we'll do something like that. But let's, you know, he's good. But you can tell it when you're trying to figure out, and I know just from experience of doing it wrong, <laughs> you know, where you'd go and do it, you'd go into, I'd go into an audition, a lot of times for like maybe a, an acting role on TV, and you'd be in, especially as you move along, you'd be in with a casting person and maybe a director and this and that, and you start into your scene, and this was early, in my early days. I'd start into the scene and I'd be aware of the room and the people in the room. And if it's supposed to be funny or if it's supposed to be whatever, and you're kind of, I'm kind of watching the people and seeing their reactions. And suddenly if something wasn't working, I'm thinking maybe this isn't working. And I'd waver to something else, you know, <laughs> needless to say, I didn't work a lot in those days because <laughs> I was, you know, just trying to please everybody. Find what's right and commit to it and. <laughs> One more thing for the, um, uh, as far as voice, voiceover, uh, acting. For me, um, the moment that I really start listening to myself as I'm doing a character, if I'm aware of listening to my voice and saying, Hey, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, right. I know that I'm wrong, that I'm more concerned about one thing as opposed to, telling the story or bec becoming that character you know of course you can hear yourself but it there's it's different there's a difference between hearing yourself and listening and uh back in the day especially when i was doing uh commercials and straight narration i would get into that hey my voice is actually i'm in good voice today <laughs> i like that moment and i sound good my auditions sucked because because all there was was the voice. There was nothing there. There was no other life going on. We have to make sure that the voice is showing that there's something living in that voice, right, not right. just this amorphous thing. Does that make any sense at all? Oh, no, it made perfect sense. You got it. <laughs> That's good. Cool. Try that now a little more serious. Oh, that made perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Takes guys. Takes direction well. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks.